these are the top four best android emulators that i want to share with you guys but only one of them is actually overall the best android emulator but also each android emulator is unique in some way so let me show you guys these android emulators one by one let's start this with mumu nebula this is actually one of the best android emulator for low-end pc if you have a low-end pc or laptop you should try this out this emulator is designed to run on a low spec pc i am actually running this on a one core cpu and one gigabyte of ram to run this android emulator you don't need to turn on the virtualization if you have a hyper v enabled you can still run this uh, this android emulator runs on almost any condition even if you have a potato pc i'm pretty sure that you don't have a real potato pc <laughs> so you got the point this runs on almost any type of pc or laptop and this runs on a android 7 which is actually pretty good almost all the android emulators out there run on android 7 or maybe 8 9 only downside of this android emulator is that this is running a android 32 bit version not the 64 bit i mean this is designed to run on a low spec pc if it was 64 bit it won't run on a low spec pc so you have to understand that if you want to use this android emulator next mumu player x from the same company who made the mumu nebula last year in 2022 i made a video on the best android emulator of the year 2022 and this was the winner for that uh, this was the best android emulator in 2022 because it is running on a android 12. this is the one and only android emulator which runs android 12. this android emulator feels super fast and smooth and doesn't use much cpu and ram compared to the other android emulators this android emulator also supports vulkan but for some reason the vulkan doesn't work properly because uh, let's say for example there is this game called arc survival you can't really play this game because vulkan actually doesn't work and this android emulator is still in beta so i think we can understand that it's, it's it's still in development but overall this android emulator is actually really good and gives you a root option if you want to use root by default you don't have to do anything else so yeah this is actually really good android emulator if you want to get the latest android emulator next we have bluestacks 5 you know it's been many years i haven't really used bluestack because i didn't really liked bluestack because uh, it uses lots of ram and cpu so i just use the other android emulators but this year let me tell you straight this is the best android emulator of 2023 because finally they have a vulcan support and guess what the vulcan thingy actually works and you may think that what's the big deal with the vulcan vulcan is more efficient compared to the other renderers opengl or DirectX, and provides you better performance less cpu less ram and better performance this year i mean blue stacks really impressed me i'm just being honest here it's actually good look at the stats if it was the old blue stacks without the vulcan uh, I would see blue stacks using lots of CPU, lots of RAM. So yeah, Vulkan changed everything in blue stacks. Blue stacks is the best Android emulator out there. Yeah, as of me making this video right now. And another huge update from the blue stacks: they have a Android 11 now, almost close to Mumu Player X. Uh, in terms of the latest android version i think momo player x still wins and guess what the game uh <laughs> arc survival this is the only game that i test uh for vulcan because uh, you know uh, this game requires a vulcan support to actually play so there is no android emulator which can run a arc survival game but bluestacks runs arc survival flawlessly with the vulcan support blue stacks feels really fast and smooth just like momo player x only downside of blue stacks is that it doesn't have a root option 
by default. You can't really get the root access if you want to use root. There are some third party tools that you can use to get the root access, but still, uh, we don't have the easy way to get root access in BlueStacks. But as I said again, overall best Android emulator is the BlueStacks because it's stable, it's fast, it has the Vulkan which makes this actually smooth and fast. Now the final emulator, LD Player 9. This is a Android emulator which is like really unique because it opens really fast. It feels smooth, snappy, and it runs on a Android 9. Sadly, it doesn't have a Vulkan support, but I think slowly the other Android emulators will also add the Vulkan support. So yeah, uh, we may have to wait for that. This LD player, uh, in my opinion, is the best alternative for BlueStacks. If you absolutely don't like BlueStacks, then I think as of my testing, as I have used many Android emulators, uh, I can say that LD player is the best. It's stable, it feels fast, even though it doesn't have a Vulkan, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna be honest here, even though LD player is good and it is the best alternative for BlueStacks, uh, after the uh, BlueStacks Android 11 update and the Vulkan support, I can't like switch to any other Android emulator because BlueStacks after the Vulkan support just works so well and you can play almost any game, any app in it. It's that good. There is one more downside of having a Vulkan support in Android emulator that is now it uses more gpu so if you don't have a good gpu then you know it's really not the best android emulator if you have a good pc decent pc with a decent uh, graphics card yeah it's gonna be good it's like you know you're play playing a P actual pc game and you know pc games uh, takes uh, lots of gpu power to run so same thing happens with uh, Android emulator with Vulkan support. It will use a lot more GPU power and will use less CPU. So if you don't have a decent GPU, then I don't think this is the best Android emulator for you. If you have a potato PC, go for the Momo Nebula. It's the best Android emulator for potato PC, right? If you have a like not good PC, you don't have the good GPU, then go for the LT player. And if you need the latest Android version, go for the Momo Player X. So I think that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment. And also do me a favor. Uh, just tell me in the comments, which Android emulator do you use? And are you going to switch uh, your Android emulator after watching this video? Yeah, just, just do the comment. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.